And now let's take a look into scripting. And scripting is a topic in itself, and in this introductory session I'm not gonna I'm not gonna delve deep and I will just kind of scratch the surface of this big topic and show you an example in Sample Center. Again, I will show you data management, uh, which is a report of suppliers and uh, products. And here at the bottom we see this report. And here on the top, it is not part of the report. It's You can think of it as a kind of WinForm application, which is completely detached from Sharpshooter uh, from this report, but still you can you can manipulate the data in the report from this application. In particular, you can provide sorting and filtering, and let me show that. Uh, let's sort products by price. And indeed you see that they are sorted by price now. And let's sort suppliers by company name. And indeed you see they are sorted by company name now. Let's make it descending. And the sorting order gets reversed. The same for filtering. Let's set the uh, let's filter out all products which price is not equal to to 10. So I put 10. It's a small typo here. So we show only products with price of $10. And indeed that what we get in the in the report itself. Uh, we have this these companies that, uh, that don't have products of that price at all and well but uh, in principle it's possible to filter them out as well and display only companies who have those products of this price. So how does it work you will ask me. How does it work? So uh, we have a report which is Kind of detached from a, from an application, and still in application you can you can manipulate the data in that report. And to show you how it works, I'm clicking on Design Template, which brings up Report Designer to me. Uh, let me move it over here so that you can see the full the full window. And uh, well, the first thing to note is uh, the way how you allow uh, external applications to manipulate your data is something that's called parameters and uh, those parameters they live on this document component so that's kind of top level components in the report and uh, let me scroll down here and indeed you see parameters under this miscellaneous section so that's a collection let me expand that and we see the collection editor dialog opens up and uh, on the left hand side we see all those parameters we were able to sort the suppliers and products by uh, by different different uh, uh, columns and we were able to provide the sorting order ascending or descending so those four parameters are indeed are reserved for those options and then we were able to filter out the products by price that's our price and uh, we had price compare operation which is basically whether it's less or equal or more each uh, each parameter has a name and a parameter type I'm not sure why it's in 34 in this case because it's kind of less equal or more it's just three cases uh, enallable boolean should suffice but anyway parameters are the way to uh, th they are exposed from a report and uh, external application can change it and then it uh, it kind of triggers an action in sharpshooter and uh, sharpshooter can respond to a change and uh, um, update its layout so that's how it works from uh, that's the workflow of, of uh, the scripting in our sorting and filtering case so let me show you the sorting and filtering in a more detail and to show that let me navigate to document tree and so let's have a look uh, kind of bird's eye view of on our report we have a data band and a nested data band here so the first data band uh, let me select that that is indeed this data band which has that's basically company details and then the nested data band is a product details so uh, we were able to sort both right so let's look at the sorting first and uh, uh, well to start with that let me go back to to properties window and let me select the document again and s and show you the 
uh, the, the foundation of the sorting and that happens in common script section uh, right here. So common script section is a section where you can define methods in, uh, in C Sharp or in VB.net and those methods will be available anywhere in the report. So here we have those three methods, get sort expression for supplier, get sort expression for products, and filter for products, a different one for filtering. So those two guys they work in the same way absolutely. Uh, they, they combine sort expression given that uh, there is some parameter supplier sort by or product sort by provided and uh, this get parameter is a method of sharpshooter that allows you to get the value of a parameter uh, like remem remember when we were making uh, we were going through our grouping example and we were changing the grouping so uh, uh, what, I, what I did I kind of dragged and dropped the CD and uh, this get data was written by a sharpshooter for me and uh, that meant that we want to get the CD uh, value of suppliers data source and this get data is the way to tell sh uh, sharpshooter that we, we need to get data from a data source so get parameter is uh, is a similar one but uh, that works for parameters and if we go to the parameters tab here so we can kind of drag and drop again and uh, we, we have this get parameter it also gives you the casting as well so this method combines uh, sort expression for suppliers this method provides sort expression for products and this one uh, tells us the filter for products do, do we have a filter or not so uh, let me close this one and uh, show you where do we use those methods so we have them defined in common script and uh, we use them in data bands indeed so the first data band is the list of suppliers uh, and uh, let me show you the, the sorting uh, the place where sorting uh, happens and that's this sort parameter over here that's a collection again and if I open it up I'm presented with a collection editor uh, window again and it has just one sorting um, one sorting member and that's just the method name so we have that method defined on the document and we use that in the data band by just specifying its name get sort expression for supplier and absolutely the same is true for the second data band if we select its sort collection and it has get sort expression for products so that's the way how sorting works and uh, let me look at the filtering filtering was uh, was possible only on the detail section and uh, that's this filter expression that is responsible for that and if I open that up I see that that is filter for products that uh, that is basically again just the method name that uh, and that method is defined on the generate script section of the document so that's pretty much it for sorting and filtering we've seen how it works and uh, the places where you can um, uh, the places where you can look into uh, and where you can uh, edit things to uh, make sorting and filtering possible and now let me close this one and uh, let's move on to a different example which is uh, which is styles so I'm gonna show you switching style sheets example which is over here that will be a very quick one so th th the reason why we need styles is because uh, they allow you to easily change the look and feel of your report without touching the report template at all so we can kind of change this in the drop down and the report changes uh, the report look and feel changes completely you can you can even change the uh, the um, the way it uh, it aligned on the left or on the right and you can change the background the colors all those different things and the way it works is let me click on design template and show you the report designer and uh, the way it works is this edit style button and this section where you can see the styles so if I click on edit style I see the style sheet editor 
I see all those different styles so that's report title and I can change report title to I don't know to be let's make it strike out let's hit OK hit OK yeah now it's strike out and if I click on on preview report here I'm gonna present it with uh, preview with uh, report preview preview where the title is strike out so then what I'm gonna do or what I can do is to save that for example as a style sheet file and this file later on can be I don't know put on some file share or send over the wire and someone else can open this up and load the styles into his sharpshooter template and each style has a name and description you can distinguish them by their names and apply the styles so that actually if you have kind of dozens of different customers and each customer and you send the same report to each customer but each customer wants a different look and feel you what you do you don't really want to create all those dozens of uh, similar reports you just have one template and a dozen of styles and you apply those styles on the fly while you are sending the reports to your customers so let me let me actually re revert that back to be not strike out I don't want the title to be strike out okay close this one and not I'm not gonna save the document okay cool that's pretty much it for for report features and uh, let me go back to to the slides and kind of wrap up with best practices for report features so first is definitely avoid complex logic and scripts because uh, the, the major reason for that is that unfortunately you cannot really debug your scripts uh, you have in sharpshooter uh, so you, you can definitely put like message boxes and stuff but it's not it's not the real debugging experience so the uh, kind of the the suggested way is if you have something complicated uh, you you'd rather want to put that on a separate .NET assembly and call that .NET assembly from your sharpshooter report. That's exactly what I was talking about in the very beginning of this session when I was talking uh, about freewheeling, so that you're really not restricted to sharpshooter template. You can call third-party .NET components from your report, and that that actually means that if you have a complicated logic in your script, so you, you put them on the separate .NET assembly, and you can have that even unit tested. And uh, once you're once you're completely happy, once you're completely sure that they work, you just call them from your sharpshooter report from your template. Uh, the next step is foster code reuse with shared styles. You probably um, uh, got a taste of that. So it's very easy to change the styles with Sharpshooter and to uh, so that your report layout can be changed completely in, in a matter of seconds. Uh, use charts to light up your reports. You can, uh, you can do some pr pretty fancy stuff with charts and you can get even even more eye candy if you use widgets and you can present data in kind of very unusual shape uh, with widgets. So that's pretty much it for report features and uh, the big takeaway of all that is that there is sample center which has a lot of different examples and uh, you're really uh, we are really encourage you to go through that and get the inspiration for your reports and look how they work, how kind of the uh, example report works. Uh, if you click on design template, you can see the report template, and uh, if you click on code, there is uh, sometimes they provide the code which you can flick through and get a better understanding of how to build similar reports. So uh, that's pretty much it for report features and let's move on to Sharpshooter 101 where we'll discuss our report viewer and report designer.